Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex coming to you with a quick video about Kydex wallets. Um, so there are a lot of different ideas out there for how to make Kydex wallets or what kind of wallets, you know, and I think that there are uh, good purposes that can be fulfilled by each of those styles. So I try to kind of dip into all of them a little bit and just uh, be able to represent a gamut of different options because options are always nice to have so um, so anyway I'll show you kind of in chronological order what I've what I've been coming up with so originally I had just been doing these uh, sort of shell wallets and uh, you know you can fold it on the bottom or on the side it doesn't really matter um, but this is the one that I was using for a long time it's fine it keeps your cards in there nice and secure and it even has a little money clip on the back the uh, the issue that I ran into with these, however, was that they were uh, the more cash you have in it, obviously the tighter it is, which is fine. That's to be expected from anything. But uh, if it has more than a couple bills in it, the the little ski slope there was actually at enough of an angle that it starts digging a hole in the pocket of my pants. So it's either have that facing in and chewing at my butt or having it outward and chewing at my pants. So, um, I just thought, you know, that's, that's probably just not an issue that should even be a problem with a wallet. So I started trying to do these sort of the, the traditional minimalist wallets, which have just two layers, not molded, not heated at ever. They're just, you know, just the flat layers and you just put a couple divots in the side and run the the elastic shock cord through them that pressure holds them in place and uh, so these are fine they're good uh, but the problem I started having with these was whether it was in my pants or whether it was while I was you know uh, taking out cash or putting it back sometimes I would hit the cord and knock it off the side or whatever not a big deal it's just again I'm thinking probably could avoid that somehow so I decided to make the wallet a little bit wider and put the drill holes directly through it, just run the cord directly through it. Uh, I don't see why that would ever be an issue. And uh, yeah, so I've got, this was, this was great. It really served my purpose as well, and I enjoyed using it. But again, sometimes you'd have an issue with the cash where like, I hate, I hate it when the corners of my bills get you know, folded over, dog-eared, whatever. I just, you know, again, not a big deal, but it's annoying to me, so I wanted to come up with a solution for that as well. So I took this idea and added a third layer. You can see here, this one is three layers and has my cards in it because it's the wallet I'm carrying right now. <clears throat> and this is actually a cash compartment. So let me show you how that works. Um, I've molded this section I don't know if you can actually even see, but it's it's very very subtle. But I've molded it so that there would be space in the corners, um, you know, right here. And that is so that you can just dig your cash in and be able to sort of easily. You know, this is a very poor demonstration, but uh, so you can get your cash in there pretty easily, right? So I need to mold it up a little bit more, um, but you get the idea though. So this is just my, this is my prototype. I haven't made any more of these yet, but, um, so I'll make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to get the cash in there and maybe I'll even put a divot in so you'll have strong retention even with just a one or two bills, but, uh, and they got the cutout on the bottom so it makes it easier. You can just lift the cash up and you can grab it a lot faster. So that's what I got for you on this. Um, I've really enjoyed using this. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks and it has been awesome. Uh, by far my favorite wallet of all time. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are interested in this. This is a very cool option. Definitely hit it up. These right now I'm selling for 35 shipped anywhere in the continental US. So if you want one of these, just $35 and I will pay the shipping out of my pocket so all right we got that and one other wallet for you 
is <coughs> it's still sort of in development. Uh, this is just a prototype, and I wouldn't even call it a working prototype yet because there's a lot that I'm not happy with so far. But uh, I wanted to at least show you guys the general concept. So it's sort of the same idea as this, only I've put another layer of Kydex on it. And that layer on the front, here, let me grab some cash. On the front serves as just a cash compartment. Nice and easy way of storing your cash and your cards go right there. So I'm not a big fan of having to move the cash to get to the cards, but you know, again, not a big deal. And on the other side, um, you know, this obviously isn't the only option, but it was what I had on hand, so I thought I'd use it. But there's a CRKT, I'm not sure what this thing is called, it's like a pocket multi-tool, but it's got a flathead screwdriver, bottle opener, multi-wrench, uh, yeah. So anyway, I thought that'd be a cool thing to sort of put on there and just be able to carry around in your sheet, or in your, uh, in your wallet. So I have worn this for a few days and it was comfortable. I don't think that that would chew at your pants any. Um, yeah, like I said, it, it definitely felt comfortable enough to me. So I'll, uh, I'll record another video once I have a good working prototype of that up and uh, see what you guys think. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, tune in for more videos soon and like, share, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. God bless.